Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video we're trying the new Sailor Moon collection from Colourpop. I've had this at my house for a couple of days now and I am finally getting around to filming this video. Now I don't usually always film new Colourpop collections but the palette in this collection looks beautiful so I couldn't skip this one. I'm going to show you everything that is part of this collection. We're going to swatch everything, especially that palette and then I'm going to create a look using all of these products. This is already available on the Colourpop website. It probably is also available at Ulta. If you're interested in shopping for any of the products I'm going to be talking about today, please use the links I'm leaving you down below in the description box. If you see the products tagged right here on the screen, feel free to use that as well as my links. Anyways, if you're excited for today's video, give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, let's get right into this beautiful palette right here. Here's what the outside of it looks like. And as you can see, it's called Pretty Guardians Sailor Moon for Love and Justice. And it has Sailor Moon and for other chicks around her. I'm not a Sailor Moon fan, so I'm sorry. I don't know about the characters. But what I did really love about this palette was definitely the interior. Take a look right here at the stunning color story. It's so, so pretty. You guys know I love my neutral shades and I also love my pops of purple and that is exactly what this palette has in it. So very, very excited to swatch it. I'm going to show you the rest of the collection, then we'll swatch the palette. So there are two gel liners. I'll show you this part. There are two gel liners that came out. As part of this collection, we have a purple one and we have this teal one. I'm going to go ahead and swatch these for you. It's actually more like a metallic blue than teal and the purple is quite light. So take a look right there at the swatches of the gel liners. These are going to look absolutely amazing in the waterline. There are two powder highlighters that come with the collection. Here's what the back of the packaging looks like. The packaging of this whole collection, like everything is packaged really beautifully. And they did cardboard packaging for the outside of these highlighters, which one of them looks more like a blush than a highlighter, but we'll swatch it and see. Anyways, they did cardboard packaging for the outside of these, which is what I wish they would have done for the Harry Potter collection I reviewed last year because the plastic packaging of the powders definitely left a lot to be desired and I know that they can do cardboard, which is better. Anyways, um, take a look right here at the highlighter shades. So this lighter one is called Moonlight. And here's a swatch of Moonlight for you. And then this pink one here is called Moon Kingdom. And it's very, very pink, but also very glowy. So take a look right there at what that looks like. I'm scared of trying to use this as blush because I feel like because it's actually technically a highlighter, it's going to bring out my texture and I definitely don't want to see my texture on my face but it definitely could be used as a blush on my skin tone if you like very glowy blushes of course there is two lip kits the Sailor Star Ultra Bottled Lip and the Sailor Fuku Ultra Bottled Lip so let's go ahead and swatch these let's start with the Sailor Star Kit from the looks of it it's probably like a liquid lipstick and a gloss yeah, it's like a liquid lipstick, sort of. Maybe like a liquid tint type of product because it doesn't seem super full coverage. We'll see once we swatch it on the lips and then there's this beautiful clear-ish gloss with multi-color sparkles. So take a look right there at what this kit looks like. Honestly, really pretty. I love the gloss. The gloss is fantastic. And then let's do the Sailor Fuku Ultra Bottled Lip Kit, which has a nude. If I were to have bought one, you guys know this is definitely the one that I would have gone for. It's hard to swatch things with my left hand. Hold on. And the gloss is like a clear-ish gloss with a hint of blue and very, very shiny. So take a look right here. Like I said, if I would have gone for one, this is the one that I would have picked. The lipstick looks beautiful, the gloss looks beautiful. Then we have the Pretty Guardians Sailor Moon and I believe this is a face glow. It looks like a jelly sort of product in there. It looks very interesting. 
Let's go ahead and swatch it. I've never had a product like this before. Okay, this is what it looks like here. It's pretty, but it feels pretty tacky to the touch, so I don't know how comfortable I would feel wearing this on my cheeks. Let me do a lighter layer here. Yeah, even if you do very little of it, it still feels kind of tacky. So, not sure about this one, especially not for the face. But in the jar, it looks beautiful. <laughs> and so finally, let's go ahead and swatch the Sailor Moon palette. We have the shade Twinkles, Save the World, School Girl, which is a matte peach shade, So Cosmic, which is kind of a duochrome shimmer. Take a look right there from a little further away. Secret Powers, Friends Forever, Starlight, which is a beautiful glittery shade, and Aqua, which is this stunning shimmer blue. I will say the thing about this collection um, is that it came out during the fall time. I think holiday products are about to start coming out very, very soon. Some of them already have, and this is very spring. <laughs> Last four, we have Her Destiny. Always There, which is a stunning shimmer. Girl Power, which is this beautiful dark purple. And Starry Sky. So take a look right there at the entire Sailor Moon palette swatched from ColourPop. Like I said, it's stunning. I love the shimmers, I love the mattes, but this would have been a perfect springtime release, even a summertime release. <laughs> Anyways, I'm dying to create a look with this palette, so let's go ahead and go for it. So to begin, I'm going to use the shade School Girl, which is that peachy, pinky color. And with a big blending brush, I'm just going to swipe it across my crease. This shade looks pretty peachy in here, but once you put it on, it's more pinky on me than peachy. I don't know, it's like a very in the middle <laughs> type of color. So this is an E28 from Sigma, and I'm just very, very lightly swiping that color back and forth to create a transition shade. And I'm going to do the same thing over on this side. It's nice and pigmented, I will give it that. I like the amount of pigmentation that it's putting on the crease of my eye. Switching to a rough for number one, I'm going to grab the shade Girl Power and I'm going to intensify the outer third of my eyelid with it, just patting it on the outer corner of the lid first and then I'm just lightly swiping it up to the crease. Doing the same thing over on this side. Okay, so once those two colors are blended, I don't wanna not use this shade here because it looks so interesting to me. So with the same refer number one brush, I'm going to add it to the innermost corner of the eye and blend it up to the crease ever so slightly right here. Just as I suspected, it is a beautiful, beautiful lilac color. I love it. Very pretty. I'm going to make it meet with the purple right here on the crease, with the dark purple, I should say. I'm going to grab the shade Always There, which this is what that looks like, and I'm going to put it on the center towards the back of the eyelid, just tapping it with my finger there. Stunning. And then this color here is the shade Starlight, and I'm going to add that one in the center towards the front of the eye with my finger as well, just tapping, tapping, tapping. And take a look right there at what that looks like. I quite like that. So let me just do the same thing over on this side. That is stunning, I love that. Underneath my eye, I'm going to first use the shade Girl Power on a refer number 13. And I'm going to swipe it back and forth on the outer half of the under eye, make it meet with the top back here. And then with the same brush and the shade School Girl, I'm going to go under the purple and I'm going to go all the way to my tear duct area. To finish up this beautiful eyeshadow look, I love the way everything turned out. I'm going to grab the shade Twinkles with my refer number two brush and I'm just going to pat that color right on the inner corner, just like so. <gasps> that is so pretty. Wow. I knew I was going to like this palette. I love this palette. It's very spring though but I love it. For the waterline, instead of the light purple, I'm actually wanting to use the blue shade. Just for a bit of a pop of color right there, I love that. <laughs> I'm going to grab the highlighter and just add a bit of it to the highest point on my cheekbone here. 
the lightest of the highlighters, the one called Moonlight. With a very small brush, this is my Wayne number three, I'm going to grab the other highlighter and just... <gasps> oh, I don't know about that. Oh no. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to... I'm just going to add it back here on my temple and cheekbone area. <laughs> So that's what that looks like. I'm not going to use it as a blush. I was going to maybe like bring it more forward, but I don't think that's the best idea. So I'm just going to leave it back here. That's actually pretty back there. And then I'm going to use a blush as my blush. Gucci blush in Silky Rose. This is 01. And this is what I'm going to blend the highlighters with. And so before any mascara lashes, take a look at our Sailor Moon palette look right here. Back with mascara on and I also applied some lashes. So let's go ahead and do the lips. I'm going to use the nude <laughs> lip combo because this definitely was the one I loved most. And I'm curious to see what these liquid lipsticks look like on the lips and feel like because they definitely don't feel like the traditional drying liquid lipstick formula. And it does not feel like that on the lips at all. This liquid lipstick formula feels like moussey, but at the same time very lightweight and not drying at all. I'm really liking it. It feels like a cream lipstick. And unless you want to create dimension, there is no need for a lip liner. The lipstick is on. I love this color. So pretty. And of course it matches perfect with the colors on the eyes. And so I'm going to do a bit of the blue gloss in the center. And just like that, this look right here is completed. I feel like it's April right now. So let me give you my overall thoughts on this collection. Let's just look past the fact that it's like the wrong season. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you what products I think are very nice to have. Nothing in this collection is a must have, at least not for me, but maybe if you're a Sailor Moon fan, this collection is a must have for you. Now the nice to haves for me are definitely this lip combo duo right here because i'm obsessed they feel amazing it's not drying full pigment liquid lipstick although i did have to build it up and then i love the gloss and the way the gloss feels very lightweight and like i said i love the result i'm not a huge fan of either one of the highlighters i could do without these this gel thing looked interesting but i wouldn't put it on my cheeks I actually really liked the gel eyeliner in the waterline and I thought I would have trouble building it up to show up but it's actually very pigmented so if you're in the market for some gel liners these have a very nice formula and then I did really really love the eyeshadow palette and I believe this is like $22 on its own which is an amazing price plus Colourpop is always having little discount codes and sales and all of that so I love the way that the look came out the formulas blended out beautifully i didn't have any trouble with any of the mattes showing up on my skin as you can see they're quite pigmented the glittery shimmery shades i used are very attention seeking so i was very impressed with the performance of this palette even more than the 1111 palette i tried a couple of weeks ago i like that one but the mattes I think I had a bit of trouble with like getting them to show up the way they looked on the pan. These mattes show up even better <laughs> than they look on the pan. So very impressed with the formula, the blendability, and the look that I came out with overall. So those are my thoughts. Love the palette. Love this liquid lipstick slash gloss duo. Love the gel liner. Everything else was okay. <laughs> If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Before you leave, if you're shopping for anything, definitely use the links I'm leaving you in the description box, or if I tag the product on the screen, you can use that as well. I love you all so much. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please don't leave without subscribing, and I hope to see you back in the next video. <laughs> Bye.